The best value in gaming keeps getting better. Hi, this is Jake over here, your resident content cowboy, yeehaw. And today I'm talking to you about three new games that got added to Xbox Games Pass, but really one game in specific, Monster Sanctuary. First, I'll say my favorite thing about getting next-gen consoles has been going back into the Xbox, getting Game Pass, and playing all these awesome games. Game Pass is the best. It's such a great value, and there are tons of great games. But anyway, on to this. Monster Sanctuary has a really high rating on Open Critic from most critics who played the game. And now we can take a look at Call of the Sea, which has a somewhat strong rating as well. And the next game, Unto the End, which doesn't have as stellar of a rating. So maybe that's not the one to check out. But then again, you've got Game Pass. These are essentially, you know free with Game Pass. Let's talk about Monster Sanctuary. Monster Sanctuary feels like a bit of a side-scrolly, Pokemon-esque role-playing adventure, and boy oh boy, was I having so much fun playing this game. You start by picking which familiar your bloodline has, and then they throw you into the world rather quickly. Once you pick your familiar, you do have to name it, and of course there's only one reasonable name for a wolf, obviously. <clears throat> Dr. Wolf. After you name your familiar, you head into the world. Again, side-scrolling style, but it has an old-school JRPG battle mechanic. Once you get a party of three monsters, it just feels like you have a team of three characters from a JRPG. But also, it has very heavy Pokemon vibes, as I mentioned before. Beating certain monsters in combat gives you the ability to hatch them from eggs, and very quickly you have a full team up and running. Something cool that also happens as you're exploring the environment, each one of your monsters has a specific ability that they can use in the overworld. So your main familiar is able to rip through vines and smash through hidden walls, while a bird that you find very early lets you levitate and get chests that otherwise you could not. If you're looking for a Pokemon light style game, this is so for you. I'm already really, really into it. I think the only unfortunate thing this game has going against it for me is that Cyberpunk comes out in a few hours. So that's another RPG that I'm going to be jumping into. But if you like Pokemon at all, if you like JRPGs at all, this game scratches that itch so, so well. Of course, it's Game Pass. It's free. So I don't see why you wouldn't check out a game. but. If you have it and you didn't know about it, I'd really recommend giving Monster Sanctuary some of your time. I think it's really, really fun so far, and I'm excited to see what else happens inside this game. That is, if I can pull myself away from Cyberpunk for a few minutes, which, hey, you never know. Maybe I'll be one of the people who hate it, and then I'll play this game the whole time. Oh, man, I, I really love my Xbox. I really love my Xbox, and I really love Xbox Games Pass. It has been the best part of next gen for me, without question, bar none. I recognize it's on the old gen. I recognize it's on PC. This is just me talking here. I have had so much fun with it, and it's my favorite part of it. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you played this game? Do you like it? Do you not like it? If you haven't, and you have the ability, I'd really recommend checking it out. I, I legit think it's really good so far. Very early in. I think I'm maybe an hour and a half in. But that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Yeehaw. Mwah.